Hello everyone, welcome to Amin Maths Club. Today we have two equations that is x plus y is equal to 6 and x times y is equal to 6. So we have to find the value of x and y. So first of all, we are going to name these equation. It is equation number 1 and similarly it is equation number 2. So now we are going to write equation number 1 and find the value of y which is not uh, real, not actual value. But uh, now equation 1 implies that that x plus y is equal to 6 we can write it like y is equal to 6 and plus x is going to right hand side we get 6 minus x let's say it is our equation number 3 so now here x y is equal to 6 equation number 2 we are going to write uh, this equation 2 which is uh, that x y is equal to 6 now we are going to put this value of y in equation number 2 so x that y is actually 6 minus x so 6 minus x is equal to 6 now we see that that x is going to multiplied by 6 and minus x so it will be 6x minus x into x x square and here plus 6 shifted towards left hand side we get minus 6 which is equal to 0 so now 6x square minus x square that minus 6 is equal to 0 if we write it like that minus x square and then plus 6x minus 6 is equal to 0 so it is in form of descending so now we are going to take minus 1 common we get that x square minus 6x and minus minus plus 6 which is equal to 0 so now dividing both sides with minus 1 then we get x square minus 6x plus 6 which is equal to 0 now we see that x square minus 6x plus 6 is equal to 0. We can solve uh, this quadratic equation um, by quadratic formula. So here a is equal to 1. Similarly b is equal to minus 6 and c is equal to 6. Using quadratic formula which is x is equal to minus b. So here minus times minus 6 plus minus. Here it is b square which is minus 6 whole square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 6 divided by 2 times 1 now we see that x is equal to that minus minus plus 6 plus minus here that minus x square is equal to 36 minus minus plus so here 6 4s are 24 all divided by 2 1 is 2 now going ahead x is equal to 6 plus minus 36 minus 24 which is equal to that 12 plus 12 so divided by 2 so now 12 the root of 12 is actually 12 can be written as that 2 2's are 4 times 3 so it will be equal to 2 square root of 3 so now x is equal to 6 plus minus 2 square root of 3 divided by 2 now we see that that x is equal to if we take common 2 is common then 2 3 plus minus square root of 3 all divided by 2 now cancelling 2 with 2 we get x is equal to 3 plus minus 3 square root so we have two values of x that x is equal to 3 plus square root of 3 and similarly 3 minus square root of 3 so it is our values of x so now we are going to find out the value of y by putting one by one the value of x here we are going to recall our equation uh, equation number three that recalling equation number three which is equal to that y is equal to six minus x so now we are going to put first when x is equal to three plus here when x is equal to 3 plus square root of 3 then this equation becomes equation number 3 that y is equal to 6 minus 3 plus square root of 3 which is equal to y 6 minus 3 that plus minus minus square root of 3 and we get 6 minus 3 is equal to 3 minus square root of 3 so it's first value of y and similarly when we put other value of x 3 minus 3 under root then so now when x is equal to 3 minus square root of 3 then equation 3 becomes this one 
y is equal to 6 minus it is 3 minus that square root of 3 so we can write it like y is equal to 6 minus 3 minus minus plus square root of 3 so y is equal to 6 minus 3 is 3 3 plus square root of 3 so it is our second value of y so it is first value of y when x is equal to 3 plus 3 under root and then it is second value of y when x is equal to 3 minus 3 square root so we can check our result by putting the value of any one value of x or y so uh, we are going to put the value of x and y in our in that problem so we are going to check our result so now when x is equal to let's say when x is equal to 3 plus square root of 3 and for this value of x the y is 3 minus square root of 3 so we are going to put these values in our equation 1 so equation 1 is actually that x plus y is equal to 6 so now putting value of x which is 3 plus square root of 3 and it is plus y the value of y is 3 minus square root of 3 which is equal to 6 so here we can see that plus 3 square root minus 3 square root cancelling with each other we get 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 so left hand side equal to right hand side hence our values these two values are true for x and y so now we are going to uh, use other values in any other equation let's say we are going to use on that equation number 2 when x is other value of x is actually that 3 minus square root of 3 and y is that for this value of x y is 3 plus square root of 3 so now we are going to put these values let's say in equation number 2 so we get as equation number 2 is x y is equal to 6 so here x is equal to 3 minus square root of 3 times y is actually 3 plus square root of 3 so it is equal to 6 now we see that here it is a and it is b so a minus b and it is also a plus b and we know that by the formula it is equal to a square minus b square so it will be 3 square minus square root of 3 whole square which is equal to 6 so now that 3 square is actually it is equal to 9 minus cancelling with this 3 which is equal to 6 6 is equal to 6 so here left hand side is equal to right hand side so our these two values for x and y um, are true and our exact solution is actually is this so we are going to just check our solution that here it is the value of y and it is first value it is second so similarly we have two values of x which is that 3 plus square root of 3 and 3 minus square root of 3 so it is our solution that we see that so that's it for today See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.